Channel, it's me, Gameslay99, aka No Brainer. Welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video. And I'm already lagging in it, so this is this is a great introduction here. All right, so I have SORified my Qui Gon Jin Double Rebel Trooper deck, which was good at dealing 10 damage on turn one, and I'm going and I've tried to update that so that it's more consistent at doing that 10 damage turn one. And the hope is that I can kill people before they have a chance to even play the second chances, right? That's the goal here. We've got dug in, caution, logistics, blaster pistol, and it's a trap. Um, I'll keep the it's a trap, and I'll keep the blaster pistol, and I will... Uh... No, wait, I want the logistics as well. That, keep, give me the logistics back. I'll just get rid of these two. And then I will shuffle and uh, draw again, because I didn't start with repost in my open hand. Yep. All right. It looks like we have someone who knows me. My opponent here... Um, said that his deck's a bit on the random side because he doesn't, because he's only using cards that he owns, although he did buy cards, uh, buy some SOR, obviously, so he, so I don't know how big of a collection he has, so this might not be a great test, but, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I will take my two shields on Qui-Gon Jinn, thank you very much. I said I'll take my two Qui- Okay, lag, more lag, great, great, great. Uh, okay. There we go, alright, cool. He gets to start. Let's see what he starts with. Okay. Now, one problem is that uh, my opponent has uh, quite a bit of health at the start, and uh, it's an interesting deck choice that he's got there. But uh, Unkar shouldn't be a problem for me here. Uh, let me just start roll by rolling out... Well, I'll start by playing the Holdout Blaster, actually. Turn 1 Holdout Blaster isn't terrible, and then I get to roll out the Qui-Gon, because none of my none of my dice actually cost anything to roll out, so... to activate, so that's nice. Well, okay, apart from the Holdout Blaster dice. Who can forget the Holdout Blaster dice? Me, apparently, until just now. But, uh, we'll see. Okay, my opponent is... I'm guessing this is a damage deck of some kind, but it's very mixed damage. So it must be an Uncar deck, really, right? Because why else would you have damage so mixed? But, uh... I'm not too worried just yet, so I'll roll out this uh, trooper, here, this rebel trooper here. I'm looking to try and hopefully get resources, but uh, I got one damage instead there. But the thing is, if Umkars just starts discarding my hand, I'm okay with that because uh, there's nothing there really for him to discard. He got two damage for a resource. Uh, I don't feel like I need to guardian anything really. Um, but let's let's resolve this one melee first into the uh, Umkar. Yeah. He does have a tricolor deck, which means that he's got a lot of potential things he could do, but he doesn't seem like he does them yet. So I've got to be aware of cards like Anger that that are two blanks. I could definitely see Anger being used for him in this deck, uh, and he does now have both blanks to be able to use that Anger. He can Anger this one Stormtrooper die, uh, Rebel Trooper die, which might be a problem for me, but. Uh... We'll see. We'll roll out this trooper now. I, maybe I should have discarded to reroll to see if I could get a resource. Cannot get a resource for the life of me, though. Uh, which is unfortunate. Now, Docking Bay, I don't have any supports at all, so this is a very useless battlefield for me. But I should claim it anyway for the uh, ability to resolve... Um, the ability to just resolve dug in, right? Opponent's looking at what to do right now. He does definitely have uh, value on the board if he wants to uncar it. Discard from my hand. It's looking that's like what he's wanting to do here. Oh. Oh, something. He's doing something at any rate. Is he discarding to reroll? Oh, I see. Okay, so he's going to keep the resource, do the two melee damage, and he's going to reroll. Alright, the rest. Alright. Ascension Gun, interesting. So he must have quite some supports here. That's a double disrupt, which is a problem for me, especially with my I want to roll out resource, roll resources strategy. Uh, so it might be my best interest just to discard to reroll the holdout blaster. Yeah, I'll discard just to reroll the holdout blaster here. Okay, the plus two. All right, so I can do four damage. That was a great reroll. An absolutely fantastic reroll, really. So first turn I did five. That's not a lot for this deck, but. Uh, it's better than what he's going to do, most probably, here. Well, I don't know. He's got two resources, four damage. I mean, that's something, right? By five, I, I did six, right? So I did six into Unkar here, turn one. Uh, oh, yeah, five. Yep. Friends in high places. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Yep. All right, so you could have something pretty big out of this. 
Intimidate, useful, or immobilize. Okay, so he gets immobilized. I guess that's something for him. Uh, two cost. That's definitely worth it for him, just a free two cost upgrade like that. But he doesn't get to re-roll it the very first turn. Roll it out the very first turn, like he could do with, uh, say, a Sith Hogron. That's fine for me. Fine for me. Uh, I think at this point I just claim, right? Yeah, I just claim the battlefield. Just accept that this is my battlefield for now. And I'll move this all the way down here. All the way. There you go. Alright, and I'll let him do his turn whilst I'm lagging. Alright. Gonna press the discard button, see what I get in a bit. Might just get one, he might get zero. He gets a one. Okay. Alright, so that was the one resource that he needed for that, unfortunately. If he'd have hit the zero, uh, then that would have been better for me. Really. Come on, lag. Let me just wave my wireless on. Yeah, yeah, I know. I use a wireless connection, not my wired one. Seems to be having a lot of interference lately. It might be the neighbors. I think they've got new internet. I don't know. But he gets four damage that he can do, which uh, isn't pathetic considering the amount of damage that the amount of damage I need to do to him compared to he needs to do to me. Right? I've got much less base health than him. But I do have cards like field medic and defense position and caution. And cards like that. So, okay, new start of the new turn. Alright, let's draw three, get two resources. There's my field medic that I was talking about. And there's Synchronosity. That's a new uh, new card that uh, works well with this deck because uh, of melee and shields. And I do have melee on the Qui-Gon, right? And then shields on everything in the world. Apart from Overkill. Don't have that on Overkill. Alright, so I think I'm okay with just rolling out the Qui-Gon first. But maybe I just want to play the DLC-17 Blaster Pistol as my very first action here. Load up on Qui-Gon since clearly Qui-Gon is going to be the very last target. If he's talking to this trooper, he's going to target the other trooper next, right? So, that seems like a smart enough choice to me, so I'll do that. Let's pay one for that. Synchronosity, of course, costs zero. It's a great card. Better lightsaber throw. Unblockable. All that good stuff. Although, to be honest, Synchronosity, maybe, maybe it is a bit lacking, because I only have Qui-Gon's dice that are melee, really. Because I did, I put Synchronosity in, then I did remove both Force Training and Survival Gear. Which are both decks cut sides with melee. But I really want to make it work. Do I have your eyes can deceive you? That should probably go in instead of Synchronosity, actually, thinking about it. Alright, he's going to roll out. Oh, both the specials! That is terrifying! Absolutely terrifying. I better play my overkill right now so his specials are worthless. That seems like smart logic to me. That seems like smart logic to me. That way he when you if he resolves both specials, they are worthless to him to him. One damage. Damn it, he hit the one. And then he hit the zero. Okay. Alright, this Rebel Trooper's near dead. Maybe I should resolve him right now. I'll roll out the Qui-Gon, see if I can get a resource to... Uh, to be able to field medic and stuff. Well, uh, there's four... There's six damage. That's not bad. It's not bad. Six damage right there. This is uh, enough on the field to kill off the Unkar right here. So he's going to dodge, okay. Uh, it's rare I see that. Nowadays, especially because of cards like TIE Fighter and stuff, but uh, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. All right, let's roll out this quiet this uh, rebel trooper then. And if I roll a shield or a resource, I'm perfectly happy with that. And if I roll range damage, I'm also happy with that. So, win win, win 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 win. Many wins were had. All right, not something I can guardian, unfortunately, but I can just do this one range damage right now. Do I want to do that, or do I want to be, have the possibility of guardianing? I think I, I don't want the guardianing. Yeah, and then I rolled the plus one anyway, so it's good to do that so that I've got the two here. Okay, he's going to blank this. Sure. Oh, blank. There we go. Alright, what do I discard? I think I discard the logistics at this point. I'm never going to roll another resource for as long as I live, apparently. Ah! Logistics went miles away. That's the problem with lag. Um, It makes the things do weird stuff. The uh, It makes the fix of the game sometimes do weird stuff. I still rolled a blank, but I rolled a 1. An actual 1 damage this time. They are uh, separate characters, so I better separate them like that. 
Now oh, what's this plan here? You never said anything to me, right? Yeah, no. Alright, as superiority goes. And he rolled a focus and a blank. So he does get did get that focus. Uh, which means that this trooper is basically going to die no matter what, unless I roll out blank oh, unless I roll out resource here. I don't think I want to discard for this though. Well maybe I do discard the field medic. Maybe I discard the field medic, try and get my synchronicity off. It's only one damage here. These are some really not great rolls. So let's let's see if I can get something better. A two and a one. Alright, that's better. There we go. Although thinking about it in terms of odds, maybe it was better to just roll out the blank. But I mean, to be honest, three of those four sides, three of those sides I was happy with taking. The two, the one uh, shield, and the one resource, right? But maybe odds were better for me to have kept that one, but it worked out in my favor in the end anyway. I'm going to discard to reroll. He still hasn't rolled out that stormtrooper. Hopefully he doesn't forget. That would be a shame if he did forget. There we go, he rolled a plus two and a two, which he can't actually resolve, that's funny. So let's uh, resolve the three into... Uh, do I roll that into Unkar? Do I resolve the three into Unkar? Uh, well, actually, let's resolve... Hmm. He needs two. Let's, let's resolve two into Unkar, and then the one into the Kylo. Into the Kylo. That makes the most sense, right? Unless I wanted to hit the Stormtrooper so that the uh, F11D had less chance of working. Alright, this guy's last card from my hand. It was a Synchronicity. It's a zero cost. Oop, there we go. Alright, well, he's got uh, he's still got another character to activate. And I don't want him to actually get the uh, F11 rifle activation. So I'm going to kill hit Kylo with that. Uh, it was a two. It's a two. There you go. Alright, he's going to claim. Uh, that means he didn't activate Stormtrooper. That's fine by me. It means this Rebel Trooper gets to survive another turn. He didn't do any damage to me this turn whatsoever. And I still have plenty of cards left in my deck. Oh, of course, he gets the uh, air superiority on the field. That explains why he wanted to claim. Alright. That was a card I was con contemplating with Qui-Gon. Uh, it is basically a backup muscle, but only so long as Qui-Gon lives. So for that reason, so long as only so long as Qui-Gon lives, I decided not to take it. So long as it's only so long as it's only so long. Alright, I got my repost and a caution here, so I can do a nice reposter's burst damage out of the hand if I need to. It's a trap is uh, not terrible either with this with the deck he's against. He's not got gonna have like fast hands or something to resolve, right? Salvage stand, you may exhaust this support to force support to lose a resource. Great. Well I don't really want to play off my blaster pistol just yet then in that case. So uh, let's let's resolve out the Qui-Gon here. I might be able to just repost the two damage into the Uncar here. Or I just roll two damage like that. I also rolled the three on the overkill again, which has a one in six each time. Does he remove the two melee or does he remove the... Th he doesn't remove the three. Okay. Well, I am okay with just rolling out this uh, trooper without guardianing him then since he's so close to death anyway. And he rolled a blank. Of course. All right. Well, I can always hit and run. Uh, it's a trap in order to get the damage out. Uh, didn't roll that. He rolled the disrupt though, which he can salvage down. No, he... He can salvage down with the uh, support resource though, uh, if he wants to do that. So I'll uh, remind him there with that little hand gesture. Alright, well I want to keep the... I think I just repost for two here. Yeah, I think reposting for two just to kill off the Unkar here is good. Repost for two to kill off the Unkar. No wait, that doesn't kill him! That left him on one! That was a huge mistake. Why did I think he had 9 health? I lost the It's a Trap! No! This was a mistake, people. This was a mistake! I'll play the Blaster Pistol for my one resource. This was such a mistake. Such a mistake. And now he's gonna get a shield on the Unkar and... Oh, this is all gone to tit. Well, he might also have another dodge, so I've got to be wary of that. I draw my two damage that costs a resource. Yes. I can't resolve it. Why did I roll him out? That I should have guardian to make sure that this tro rebel trooper didn't die. And he didn't roll the damage anyway. Cool. Well, I can re remove rocket launcher to re-roll all of these four dice here. There's a two, there's a one, there's a blank, and there's two for a cost. Okay, well at least he can't, um, 
get rid of... Well, he can, if he has a dodge right now, he can get rid of all of my dice except one. Alright, he just blanks this one. Alright, cool. Well, I have four damage there, and I don't want to throw that into... Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's just a blank. It's just a blank. There, there, there we go. I have four damage here, only four damage. It's not great. Did I just resolve that right now? Well, I lose caution if I do. Would I rather have caution? I think I'd rather have caution. I think I'm okay with just doing four into the Kylo there. Not killing the Unkar. Although if I'd started doing the passing game, if I'd done the caution first and then started doing the passing game, he would n potentially never activate the Stormtrooper again. Food for thought, food for thought. So let's caution, let's remove this character die, give Qui-Gon three shields. There you go. Hey, that sometimes it's, it sounds like I pressed the button, but I didn't actually do it. Maybe the hitboxes have all... Well, the hitboxes have always been wonky with this. All right, well, he's got three resources. Is this for a rocket launcher onto the Stormtrooper or something? Oh, for another support. Quad jumper. Okay, quad jumper comes out. All right. It's definitely a support deck of some kind for him then. All right, let's uh, claim the docking bay. I do not have supports, so there's no point even looking through my deck for one. Let's see what he gets. He's going to roll out the double focus. Okay, well, he can do whatever he wants with the last two. Nope. He can do whatever he wants with the last two dice. Um, so what's he going to do? Two damage and then one damage or something? Oh, and he just rolls the two damage flat out. All right. Well, maybe he's thinking of just going to reroll these two dice then, because, I mean, that's not too strange of an idea. Gonna kill the trooper off. Yep, makes sense. So what's he wanting to do here? Look at it though, I have done... I have done 16 damage. Turn 3. That's not great for this kind of deck. Alright, discard just to roll that one. Okay, and he discarded one quarter portion for that. That's interesting. One quarter portion can uh, get rid of a lot of damage that I could potentially throw out. Hmm. And he gets the shield. Okay. So I have a new round. I'm looking pretty good here in terms of damage. There's the three for the uh, repost right way. Dug in as well. Mm-hmm. A lot of good stuff I just drew, drew right there. I could repost for two to kill off Unkar, then dug in for three, but use up one of the shields to do one damage, and then I could repost to kill Kylo. It's a pretty good turn one. Turn two. Whatever. If I play into the hole, that master, I can play it on the Rebel Trooper, because I want the option of dug in. And I just roll. The Okay, these rolls for the overkill have been absolutely insane this game. I'm going to say that right now. Like, it's a 2 in 6 chance, and I've done that 3 times now. That's pretty good. Going to 1 just means so much here, because the Kylo cannot immobilize. So yeah, I just have all of this damage, and I've also got all that damage in hand as well. I've got a nice 3 damage in hand. Plus the f 7 on the board. But you know, this isn't difficult to achieve by turn 2. So, Okay. Uh, 5 damage. How much does Kylo have? He's on. He's got 6, so he's got 5 left. I can resolve the 5 into the Kylo right now to kill him. 5 kills, Kylo. That's 11, that's the kill. Yep, there we go. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright, so he then he takes the shield on Unkar. Alright, well, I'll just uh, roll out my Rebel Trooper all casually as you do, right? I could um, go hold up Master instead of the DH-17, but I don't want that. Double blanks. Beautiful, beautiful double blanks. Well, at least I've got reroll fodder in the form of these IQAs and stuff, so, you know. Let's have him roll out Unkar, and then I'll kill him. There we go, repost, kill Unkar. All 
And then I'll still be able to dug in and get my three shields back. Dice goes over to the trooper, but it's just the trooper now versus a trooper of my own and a Qui-Gon. Although the trooper of my own rolls a lot of blanks, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah. This uh, SOR deck just runs a few extra cards, right? It runs cards like Caution, Synchronicity, as you've seen. It still runs its uh, rearms and its dug-ins, and the idea is just do a lot of damage. I might be able to find a place for Return of the Jedi somewhere if possible, but that depends on how much shields I'm taking, and I'm not sure if I'll be taking that many shields against uh, the types of decks that are out there. But okay, he's got he's got a heavy blast pistol, so he's got quite a bit of pistoling, pistol action now. So let's discard reroll these two dice. Blank and a two for a cost. Okay, still more blanks, effectively. Unless I don't want to dug in. Maybe I don't want to dug in. Maybe I just want to take that two damage. But I have a one in three chance of not spending a resource. Oh no, he just drops the last resource in my hand. In my car. Ah, hmm. Didn't think about that. Alright, well now I've definitely got to start this guy to reroll. But I have the fodder for it. Alright, there's a shield. Yeah. And, and another blank. blank. Blanks are common, guys. Blanks are very common. Four into Qui-Gon? Trooper? Four into the Trooper. Alright. Let's do my two melee now. I want to have the possibility of claiming... Because I could claim right now, just so that I have the start of the next turn. That doesn't sound too terrible of an idea to me. Uh, yeah, let's claim now. I, I'd like to get that first turn. Let's let him do what he wants for now. Ah, oh, there's the fast hands. Okay. Uh-oh. Alright, swapping it out for a TIE Fighter, but the TIE Fighter now gets to activate. That uh, could be a kill on the Trooper here. We'll see. And he's still got two rerolls as well. That's the kill on the Trooper. Yep, that's the kill on the Trooper. So it's just a Qui-Gon. Versus a Stormtrooper. Alright. Yeah, I was hoping to just go all in on just an insane amount of early damage, but I just not sure if it can handle this. Maybe I I could always make this deck very similar but with Lunar Lumin Lunara? Luminara? Lu what's the name? The the girl who has the special which is effectively a plus three to any, to character dice. But then again, you can't you can't resolve the overkill very well with that. Hmm. Well, I'll discard the Holdout Blaster and draw four. Okay, two rubber assaults uh, and a rearm. Two rearms and dug in. Uh, I can work with this. There's my two resources. I can work with this very easily. So let's uh, play a rearm. Let's get a... Uh... Do I want the IQAs? I don't think I do. I think I would like to keep the resource. So let's just get a Blaster Pistol here. Last pistol for zero. Now I say that because it would cost both resources for the rearm, but I want the possibility of dug in, dug in just in case my opponent just starts rolling really well, right? And also to you know activate hold that blaster and D817 blaster pistols uh, damage sides that cost a resource. All right, he plays Imperial Inspection, so now he can disrupt all of the, my things. I could still rearm the holdout blaster for the IQA blaster pistol, which would be a three cost that he wouldn't be able to uh, wouldn't be able to bounce. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's take the IQA over the holdout here. They have very similar damage, but the IQA is a three cost. It's kind of terrible, right? The difference between a, between the the level 1 blaster pistol and this blaster rifle is so small. Alright, he rolled special there, so uh, until he re-rolls that, I am not activating Dug-In. Or alternatively, I can. Rebel Assault. Rebel Assaulting is not terrible. 
Uh, this dice should not exist. Bloop. All right, I rolled my two damage and uh, three blanks. Okay. Well, that does allow me to get rid of the TIE Fighter dice. So let's do that. And then I need to discard to reroll. And I'm running out of cards to discard for. Where's this Stormtrooper die? Oh, there it is. Yeah, blind. I was like, he's got three three upgrades there and three dice. This makes no sense. But of course, Fast Hands doesn't have a die associated. Alright, so he's got three damage there. I think I discard to re-roll the other three dice. Come on, damage. Uh, okay, well, one more damage. I guess. Is he going to dodge? No, he's going to astromech. Remove this die to turn a vehicle to any side. Interesting, very interesting. But who knows, the, that two focus is very can be very deadly. Especially with how quickly I'm having to take my turns in comparison to him. So let's uh, resolve the three into the Stormtrooper. Uh, it was three. Oops. It, it, it was three. So, not two. There we go. Alright. Oh, yeah, I was hoping this deck would be a lot faster and more reliable than it has been. Maybe Return of the Jedi speeds this up significantly, I'll have to try that. The problem is I don't necessarily have all the resources all the time. Let's take the shield. Now I can dug in for one. Yep, that one's mine. This guy to reroll some dice, sure. I'm definitely playing against a lower tier deck, but my deck is not performing adequately. But hey, he can resolve that to the two damage of his choice, so he can do a lot of damage here. So, uh, but uh, I think I'll dug in anyway for the damage. One, two, and then the Obi Wan damage. There you go. All right. When did I bring the hood back up? I brought the hood back up at some point. That was annoying. I, I prefer this without the hood now. Hope you guys do too. The hood's just so much dead extra space. Unless someone's chatting, of course. Alright, so he's going to focus that to the two. There's nothing I can do about it. Yep. I claim. There goes my shields. There's the first two actual damage to Obi-Wan. Is that all, or is he doing something? That's all. Alright. Mm, running out of cards at this point, aren't I? Three quads left. There's my dug in defensive stance. Uh, caution, which is worthless to me. Rocket launcher, field medic. Alright. Well, I still have a lot of cards that, you know, keep myself alive, so I should be able to go at this for a good while longer, yep. The things that allow qui to do damage also allow him to survive. And that's a lot of damage, but I don't have the ranged dice to do damage with. This would be great for him to dodge now, if he has dodge. Now I'll lose all of those dice. And that would be a shame. Special side, once more. Not great for me. Not great for me at all. Discard, let's re-roll these. All three of these, or just two of these? All three of these. Try and have the maximum chance of rolling it. Nope, okay. Maximum chance of rolling a grey damage dice, not happening. You roll three blanks, cool. Maybe I should have actually played Rocket Launcher before I started this. Alright, don't roll blanks, guys. There, those aren't blanks, that's enough to kill him. Along with the one damage I have in hand, this is definitely enough to kill him. Alright, uh, so let's uh, start, shall we? Two. Looks like he doesn't have the shield. 
Yeah, this is definitely enough to kill him. Three, five. Cool. All right, well, yep. GG. 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 There we go. Okay, pressing G is difficult, apparently. All right, my opponent has asked for a second game. Sure. And he's said he's going to use a different deck this time. He's going to use his light side deck, his Wexley Smuggler Ray deck, which uh, seems perhaps a little more... Uh, maybe maybe he hasn't... Maybe he's either not... Uh, he's ignored the restriction of only cards he owns, or maybe he's decided that uh, this is fine, that... Uh, or maybe he just had better light side cards, right? Maybe he was just testing the dark side ones to get better light side cards. We'll see. All right, uh, my opening hand isn't brilliant. I've got Overkill and Blast Pistol, which are always nice cards to keep, but I'll discard the other three then if I'm going along that route. Looking for Rearms, Logistics, Riposts. Got another pistol. That's not terrible of a choice. But unfortunately, the pistol does not have a have a resource side. That's what I'm missing, actually. Maybe, maybe I need to put promotion back in this deck. They did have a nice resource side. All right, I rolled a four. He rolled a five, so he gets to choose. And he's choosing his carbon freezing chamber, which is a big problem for me because uh, I can't I can't really resolve dice with uh, Wexley around. I can't resolve very well at all with Wexley around. So uh, that's very scary for me at the very beginning of this game. And he can. Uh, Resolve dice, what am I saying? He, I can't take the battlefield very easily with Wax existing. Alright, so I get to take my two shields. He's going to immediately force Illusion Ray. Strange, because I would love to kill Wexley first. I guess it does give him the extra action. Who knows, maybe he's got uh, Power of the Force or something. Alright, he's got a Disrupt and a Resource. My turn. Do I play Overkill absolutely immediately so that he can't disrupt my resource? Disrupting a resource would take a dice off of the field from Wexley so that I'd be able to potentially actually claim. So yeah, sure, make him have to use up that one disrupt if he's going to have that one disrupt. Why did I activate the hood? I did not want to activate the hood. And take the resource, cool. So my, my resource is safe unless he wants to let me claim, so... I'll activate my Qui-Gon now. Get a resource and a blank. Well, the resource is nice. Okay. Okay. And he gets another action off of that. And that's a lightsaber already. Interesting. I guess he's wanting to play cards. Outer and Smuggler will get him a resource after all, at the end. But that's, uh, he doesn't have a resource for that. Well, he does. It's, it's Ray. Ray's resource, actually. So he does have a resource for that. Don't think I want a guardian that though, so. I think I'll gladly just take the resource right there. I mean, I don't know why I took that resource, but I guess I'll activate it now rather than play the pistol somewhere else. It, lets me, it gives me the option to claim still, right? Yeah. He's going to take a while on his turn, so I'll be able to play the blaster pistol onto whichever trooper it gets hit, unfortunately, because he's going to be able to choose who hits, who it hits. Unless I activate Guardian, I don't want to activate Guardian, I want him to pay for that resource, pay that resource cost. So. Alright, resolving that three damage, sure. Now I can roll out my trooper here. He's definitely not going to Guardian anything in the future. The two and the shield, okay. And he rolls another Disrupt. Okay, so he can Disrupt and have Wexley be the Wexley man of Disrupt. So now my Disrupt's... Now I'm no longer Disrupt immune. And that poses a scary problem. So I think I just start going full out onto Wexley here. Let's Defensive Stance. Let's take let's uh, take the shield and this. And I'm just going to accept that I'm not going to be able to claim this next battlefield. Going to take Caution. Because now that he, because now he can caution, now that he's done that, smart, smart. I'll do my two to him. Then I'll do my one to him next. Okay. Well, at the end of the day, he claimed the battlefield, and I still have plenty of turns left, so he's gonna claim that in the first place anyway, I guess. So let's do the shield for the dam, for pop the damage there. Let's. Uh, 
It's uh, onto the other one. There you go. All right, let's roll this guy. You're also resource. Uh, sure, I will take that resource. And I will use that resource to play Field Medic to put this guy to only one left. I was fully expecting him, though, to actually try and play all of his cards so that he can activate Outer Room Smuggler, but I guess he didn't, so didn't want to do that, so there we go. All right, Qui-Gon's really not worth activating now. He's only got a pistol on him, so I'll probably end up activating him last. Two resources nice, though. Okay, there's my defense position at Duggan. Both those are good cards generally, but I do not have a repost for this, which is a problem. It's a lucrative problem for me to have, but problem nevertheless. Do I want to play the overkill or do I want to play the holdout blaster next? Swiftness, okay. Gives the next card he plays ambush and he's going to use ambush on the... Alright, he's going to try and go for the disrupt immediately on the fast hands here. See if he gets this. He doesn't get it! Unlucky. That doesn't work? Unfortunate for him. Oh, he asked about my deck earlier. Whoops. I don't have survival gear because it's actually a really bad card for doing damage. Shielding up is great, but for doing damage it isn't. This deck was supposed to be about doing damage, not shielding. Uh, so, it's my action, actually. Huh, yeah, okay. I don't think I want to play my... Because of fast hands, I'm in no worry now of actually getting uh, disrupted immediately, so I'm okay with rolling out first, seeing what I get. Instead of uh, spending all of my money immediately. I can afford to take this a little uh, quieter. You see, now that I've rolled the melee, the range damage on this thing, I can actually much more safely play the overkill, for example. But that I won't be able to claim once again. Hmm. Okay, he's going to flank. No, he's not. Well, now he's, no, he's got flank in his hand, so I won't overkill after all. <laughs> oh yeah, we both have uh, got one. Oh, is he thinking of replacing the lightsaber with a... Uh, more of interesting, because I'm never going to do damage to her. Never going to do damage to her. But interesting nonetheless. Still damage. And stuff, right? And he gets, a, gets double resources out of that. Look, go, go for him, right? Double resources, not something to complain about. Alright, I'll just roll out Quag on here. And a shield, cool. One damage. Death by a thousand million cuts. I know he has flank, and I'll have to walk into it if I play the holdout blast right now, so I should really resolve the two damage right now. So let's resolve the two damage right now. I actually had chance last time. As soon as he rolled activated Ray, I could have overkilled onto the Rebel Trooper and then I would have been immune to flanking because Obi-Wan wouldn't have activated. And that would probably have been the better choice. But I didn't do that, so there we go. Using the Force. He's going to go for that double disrupt side. Interesting. And then he'll be able to resolve that or not and stop me claiming. Okay, so is this the definition of insanity, or could this work? I hold that blaster to overwrite the blaster pistol, and then claim. I have so many dice still on the field, though. So many dice still on the field. I think it's worth it just to accept the loss again, the dice loss again, and play the holdout blaster. Playing the holdout blaster specifically because it has a blank side over the overkill? That resource side is effectively going to be a blank. But the shield side, I've got one, I've got the one range, the one shield, and one resource, those are all good dice to roll. So let's do it like this, yeah. Hey, as long as you're not doing damage to me, I'm okay with this. Resource, resource. That uh, is good. Very, very good, actually. Because I can resolve those resources one at a time. So I'll be very good, very decent chance I could claim here.
So he might be thinking to himself how he can roll out best roll out the Outer Rim Smuggler. He's got the one card in hand to play to get the resource of the Outer Rim Smuggler, so I can only imagine he would have played it by now if he had. This is a case of either he pat he should pass to and then get rid of one of my resource dice, and then I claim a resource, and then he claims the battlefield. I think this is how this has gotta go. Pass right now and then that. Let's um let's turn off my uh Nope, not looking to trade. I'm looking to go offline, actually. There we go. There we go. So it's his action. What's he wanted to do? Oh, he passed. Whoops, I missed. I missed that. I'll take one resource. Thought I would have heard the noise, but I guess not. Removes the two. Sure. If I claim the resource, he claims the battlefield. If I claim the shield, he claims the battlefield. Let's claim the resource, sure. Whoops, I just took a screenshot. Instead of pressing F11. Okay, he did. He passed. Okay, cool. And now I could roll the blast pistols, try and get out another damage. Uh, dug in, I'm never going to be able to use, so let's do that. And let's see what I get. Though I don't think I should have uh, actually re-rolled that, but I still rolled what I did. Uh... Let's discard the rocket launcher as well, I'm not going to need it, and let's just re-roll this one dice, see what I get here. Still a blank, okay, fine. Uh, resolve the one damage into him, and then I am going to use up this uh, other resource, I think, for the overkill. I've got plenty of blanks, plenty of greys at this point, so I think I can do that for the overkill. There we go. And then that's my turn. So all Qui-Gon has on him now is an overkill, so only ever roll him out once I have a grey side showing. However, I did finally just roll out my rearms, so that's good. Let's uh, search. The A-17 Blast Pistol and the Rocket Launcher are both in my grave. Both good things to have there, and that's a caution and defensive stance again. And there's so many shields, maybe I could end up rolling out with with Obi-Wan for the Guardian or something? Well no, I could just start equipping my troopers with Guardian, right? Alright, does he want to resolve those? He does! He resolved the one damage, okay. I was hoping he'd resolve the resource, then I could have just, uh, you know, <laughs> just Guardianed. I think this is now worth it to just play a rearm to uh, take the Blast Pistol back. Again, my characters aren't suffering from much damage, like, all he's doing is stopping me. He, doesn't, he hasn't actually hit a win condition yet. I can't figure out if he's got a win condition, honestly, other than watch me go through my entire deck and then try and mill me at the end of it. Well, that's a one mill side on the grey, so, you know, that could be something. Could have Rebel in his deck. That'd be interesting. Doing Rebel with that type, this type of deck. Let's uh, roll out this trooper. He's fed something and I just got two blanks. He's got apparently got two little upgrades in his deck for this to for his uh, plan to work. It's got a card at random. Ah, oh, he got the other rearm. So there's not going to be any rocket launcher shenanigans for me. Unfortunately, let's roll out this trooper. What? Um, yeah, I'm going to discard synchronicity obviously because there's no way I can get melee sides out here. All right, so um, much blanks to be had once more. You know. I really thought these guys were better at shooting than Stormtroopers, but the Stormtroopers in the four, in my 4-card deck really don't let me down in comparison to this. Then again, I used the blanks in that one, so. One resource on the Smuggler, okay. Well, I might as well just roll out the Qui-Gon now. It's not like, uh, that hit rolled the worst possible damage die, but the damage die nonetheless. Well, yeah, it's not like he can flank me with uh, after having used all of his three characters. He's got five resources at this point, though. He must be going for a Falcon or something here, surely. Let's uh, do, just discard Synchronicity. Let's reroll all the dice. The plus three is there, the one ranged is there, the resource is there, and the plus one and plus two is there. So if he doesn't deal with this one dice, and he removes all dice, just all dice. Every dice. All dice are gone now. So either he claims right now, or I play defensive stance. And... Alright, well, at least he's let me claim for free, for once. So, uh, no, I'm pressing the wrong button. Whoops. 
and I will take a Wexley dice. So that way he only has one Wexley dice to work with. And if that rolls the damage, I can do something off that. But now he gets to play the last card for his hand. All right, I have to claim battlefield game resource. Well, he's not necessarily going to claim the battlefield anymore, so that's kind of not as good anymore. And that's that. Okay, cool. Well, I did end up with uh, two resources there. I'm going to roll, draw a repost eventually, right? Nope, rolled my double as a trap. Well, you know, that's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's uh, roll out this rebel trooper first. If I ro and then I have the potential to just this trap to kill Wexley uh, after I roll out the other trooper. If uh, Wexley rolls that one range damage, of course. Alternatively, I guardian it. Do I just guardian this so I don't have to deal with Wexley? Oh, he uses it. Alright. He was like, Game is going to guardian this, so I better just use it. Which makes sense. Let's roll out the other trooper now. I have upgrades this time. Maybe I should have discarded the caution after all, try and get an upgrade. But I do have enough upgrades to do something with it. Alright, plus two there, that's three damage. Uh, but I've got a lot of damage going off here. If he rolls a range damage side on the Outer Rim Smuggler. Force them to resolve it. Alright, force me to resolve it against the Wexley. Sure thing, bro. Let's uh, roll out the Quagon now. I do have a range damage side showing for that. For the uh, Rebel Assault. All right, all oh, these are blanks. Let's let's see if he can if he if I can hit trap something eventually. Good at risk trap to shields if he rolls shields. Does not roll shields. Rolls a melee and a two discard. All right, double discard from hand. I can just get rid of that with the uh, rebel assault actually. If I get rid of that. Uh, I'm okay with losing basically any of the cards in this hand, right? I am, so let's just resolve the two melee. I don't want to lose both as a trap. The likelihood that I lose both as a trap are very rare. Very rare. Up. Oh, okay, he was like, I can flank. I'm gonna flank that damage side. Okay, sure. All right. Well, I can start this guy to reroll. I can play both defense and sunge caution to kill the guy, but then I lose all of my uh, all of my resources. By resources, I mean um, all of my shields. I waste so many shields if I do that. All right, I I changed the plus two to a shield, a single shield side. But hey, that's damage, and the defensive sense would kill. So he spends his second flank on that second thing. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll uh, start passing then. Lost Rebel Salt and the It's Trap. But I have another one. As soon as he activates that Outer Rune Smuggler, I will basically either claim or not claim. I'm okay with being a little slow here. I'm okay with being a little slow. So I've got three blank dice here, but only two cards left here. And the only way I see he will beat me is if I accidentally mill myself. So I'm going to play it safe. As soon as he rolls that Outer Rune Smuggler, I know whether or not I'm going to claim. So he can claim right now if he wants, and then I just discard to start re-rolling after all. Okay, I trade to that room smuggler. Am I going to be able to hit a trap? I'm going to be able to hit a trap. So it was, in fact, a trap. So plus three, two, and then the plus two is seven damage, which uh, just straight up kills the outer room smuggler. Uh, the plus two there. Kills the outer room smuggler. There we go. I finally got an Is Trap to go off, guys. Yay. Although, he gets the claim off of that. But, even so. Yay. Uh, sure. No, I won't play my defensive stance. Just in case I get a repost. Draw four. Two resources. Not a repost still. Not a repost still. But I have a lot of resources at this point, so being able to claim later will be kind of easy. Alright, start of his turn. He has swiftness. Okay, he's gonna get his third upgrade onto the field. It was Ascension Gun. Now he has two actions from Ray. Finally going off, guys. He's finally going off. Clearly, this is supposed to be a mill deck, though, with those two cards. Two melee, the two mill for cost, and a one mill. 
And he's going to just two melee straight into that Rebel Trooper. Okay, Rebel Trooper's got one HP left. Uh, so I can defensive stance here to keep him alive. And I think that's what I'll do. Because otherwise a Wexley, a quick Wexley could kill. A quick Wexley could kill. Quick, 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 quick. With the fast hands on the uh, one range damage side. That's not how you roll. That, that's how you roll. There you go. The one disrupt and the blank. Does he activate the disrupt? He actually does resolve the disrupt. Okay, that surprised me. That surprised me heavily. Alright, let's uh, roll out the Rebel Trooper that might die. Alright, shield is one damage. That's the thing, right? Fire on Jim just makes this dice so reliable as a one damage dealer. But I do think I need to go back to the drawing board a little and rethink some of these card decisions. Alright, the one mil, the two mil for a resource still, and the two, uh, the plus two for the melee. Okay. I do not have to worry about that, so I'll roll out this trooper. Don't have to worry about that killing my trooper, that is. The other one shield, so I can use both of my shields here to kill the guy. Both of my single shield sides to kill Wexley. And then, yeah, that basically would be game. Once Wesley dies, that is game. So. Well, it did one thing. I have no idea what your win condition is. Uh, what did you just do? Oh, the mill one. Alright, let's discard one. I lost caution. No. Okay, let's just kill Black Wexley now. Two damage, kill Wexley. Oh, he's supposed to planetary uprising. Oh, I see. Mm, okay. I mean, I can't attest to how well that works. I can't attest to how well that works. Since this game clearly didn't show it. But uh, I did just kill Wexley. Whenever he wants to do his two damage, that's fine. If he wants to just say this is game over, that's also fine. Alright. Because I'm running a little low on time here. I have eight minutes, otherwise I can't. Otherwise I'm going to have to split up my two. The two. Uh, Split up the two thingies, thingy majigs, videos. That's what I'm making. I'm making videos. Ah, professional, professional play, right here. I discarded caution. Oh no, though, an upgraded ray with only one ray dice. Guess that works. Okay, two range damage showing. Still not enough to kill me. That's good. Let's play the Accuate now. Oh! No, I couldn't. I was going to say, oh, I could have rolled out Qui Gon and got synchronicity, but that day. Nope, that doesn't happen. Because uh, this one dice is there. Alright. Trooper is now on one HP. Roll out the Qui Gon. That's five damage, I can take that. Let's take the five. Alright, can't freeze the chamber, teach the same die. Uh do I discard to reroll these? Is that always on a shield side? I don't think that was always on a shield side. I'll discard to reroll just to make sure I think I might have accidentally moved, changed its side. For three damage, but I can't afford it. Let's just do one more to her. Let's do one more to the ray. And that'll be my turn. And then I'll just discard the logistics. I should have easily been actually, you know, discarding to reroll 
But as soon as I did the one damage, I'm like, wait, no, I should discard to reroll. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Let's get two resources. Finally, repost. Aha! It really doesn't. I expected to roll me melee more often, but uh, you never roll melee with Carbon Freezing Chamber out. Yeah, I've got repost and I've got the, all this stuff, so that's nice. Let's, uh, I think I have the maximum chance of killing someone if I roll out this Rebel Trooper. Oh no wait, it's his to action still. Whoops, a daisy. So you can uh, gladly get all the force throw up before. Alright, the one resource. Alright, let's uh, Rebel Trooper take that one damage there. And roll this guy out. I just need to do one damage and then I can repost for the game. That's five damage, that's enough to kill. And he's looking through his deck, so I think that is game. Oh, he rebels. To do what? What does he do rebel? Does he have anything at all? He can... Can't. I have more ready characters. Uh, I think your only option is Force Illusion. I think his only option is Force Illusion to stay alive. Or use the Force. Or that. <laughs> Alright, change that to a blank. That's fair enough. But this is a little less of a per little less permanent of a solution. Considering the that I can re-roll all these other things. Let's uh, roll out the... Well, do I have more chance of... I have more chance of a grey with this blaster rifle. But I only need to do one damage. That's the one damage that I need to do. But that's also enough to kill Ray straight up. So uh, let's resolve the fall for the game. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of this deck. Yeah, with only one planetary. Your tech is not going to do what you want. Uh, clearly he has only a few cards of Spirit Rebellion that he's actually willing to play. Maybe he got like, maybe he went to like a couple of pre-releases. He's definitely got quite a few, but not too many. So it strikes me as that he only rolled, he, well, maybe he got, maybe he got his box and was just really unlucky. I don't know. It's definitely not. Those definitely weren't good decks, I'll say that much, but uh, sometimes you need to just play a deck against a deck that does nothing, that doesn't disrupt strategy in slice, to see what your best strategy is and realize that you're not, there's the way that your deck is working, you are not doing your 10 damage, you was better off without any of the changes that you have made. Speed me, Gameslay99, aka No Brainer, good testing. Signing off.